2D animation is not just about the skills. You also need to have tools that make your experience better. Well, sure, your skills can be more important than any tool, but they can't work on their own entirely. In our video today, we will explore some basic but essential tools for 2D animation and how they can improve your working conditions. With that being said, let's jump right into the video. Before we do that, let me take a moment and talk about our sponsor for today's video, Eagle App. Eagle is a desktop app that allows you to easily organize all your references, photos, fonts, videos, links, you name it. If it exists, Eagle App can probably organize it, label it, and make it easily accessible in one place. One of the great things about Eagle App is its Chrome extension, which allows you to capture data from anywhere on the web and import it back into Eagle App library. For instance, you can take a screenshot of a portion, section, or the whole website. It is highly recommended for designers, especially web designers, who collect daily inspirations because Eagle App will automatically label it and attach it to the exact URL it was taken from, which is really helpful if you want to visit the website later. Another great function is the ability to batch save all your images on any website, and you can easily just select the assets you want to save them and hit import. In Eagle App, you can organize your assets by folder, tags, description, and so on. And the thing I like most about the app is that everything is searchable, because you have a plethora of options to find exactly what you're looking for. You can filter assets, of course, by tags, folders, date, and so on. But you can also filter dimension, duration, notes, URL, and even by colors from the design. If you are interested in Eagle app, you will find the necessary links in the description. You might be wondering why we mention computers. Shouldn't that be the most basic thing you can have to start doing 2D digital animation? I mean, I'm sure everyone has to have a PC, right? Well, that's quite true, my friends. However, we don't mean any kind of computer. The computer you need to have would be one that handles having many layers, frames, colors, effects, and everything in between in a seamless manner. It also needs to be able to have enough space to host any archiving of projects. Now, depending on what kind of animation you're going for, amateur or professional, the need for a strong PC might waver. But one thing is for sure, investing in a good computer that will not fail on you while you're working on an important project is definitely an investment we recommend you make. For instance, the latest version of Toon Boom Harmony, one of the most popular 2D animation software, requires, for optimal performance and best experience that is, an Intel Core i7, 3.4 GHz or higher processor, a 4K screen resolution with scaling up to 200% supported, 32GB of memory and NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2070 or equivalent video card. So it's definitely not any PC, but one designed to handle high performance. Years back, Wacom had a monopoly over the graphics tablet market. Like you had to get an expensive Wacom tablet or not have anyone. Luckily for us these days, we have seen the popularity of other brands of tablets that have a wide price range that can fit different budgets. Some of the most popular brands are Huion and XP Pen. Graphic tablets come in a variety of types. Digitizer tablets and monitor tablets are the most popular ones when it comes to digital art. Which tablet to get depends mainly on two factors, your budget and your preference. Some have the budget for monitor tablets, but still prefer digitizer tablets and vice versa. What's great is that both tablets can work in a seamless manner. So you don't have to worry about performance issues. All in all, we recommend you save up and invest in a good tablet that will work throughout the years in a seamless way. It does not have to break the bank, of course, as the price range of tablets these days is pretty good, actually. But it definitely should be able to hold on for years. You might not find this quote-unquote tool mentioned in other videos much, but we really insist on you making sure you have this covered and treat it as an important part of your work tools and conditions. But what does the word ergonomic mean? Oxford languages can help you understand this. I quote, relating to or designed for efficiency and comfort in the working environment. 
You might be wondering why that is important at all. Well, simply put, as you know, 2D animation as a discipline requires you to sit on your desk for countless hours, doing work that requires extremely fine motor movements all of the time. If the way you sit and move your hands is done in the wrong way over the days, weeks, months, and years, this will for sure lead you to getting an injury. A lot of artists suffer from carpal tunnel and or tennis elbow. This can be not only detrimental to your health, but also your career. To learn a bit more about these kinds of injuries from the perspective of an artist, we highly recommend you check the blog of Loish, a popular and highly skilled digital artist, about her struggle with tennis elbow. We're aware that affording ergonomic desks, chairs, keyboards, and the like is incredibly expensive, but if you do this long-term and for hours, investing in this is a must. One thing that you don't have to spend money on that can be great for avoiding injury is taking frequent breaks, stretching, and doing some physical activity. All in all, if you took anything from our video today, please let it be this. Your health is more important than any animation, like ever. One cannot do digital 2D animation without the appropriate software. As with everything in this list, there are all types of software that do 2D animation. Paid and free, perpetual license, and subscription-based, proprietary license, and open source. Our channel has a huge amount of videos dedicated to talking about software, comparing them, and giving lists of specific types of software. So, check them out. Some examples of the best 2D animation software are Toon Boom Harmony, Moho, Blender's Grease Pencil, TV Paint, Open Tunes, just to mention a few. The discussion about animation software is a lot bigger than we can open here, especially since they all specialize in niche elements. We recommend you understand the type of animation you would like to do first, research the best software for it, and look deeper into what it offers in terms of features and its price especially, and go from there. In order to improve your 2D animation making skills, you would need some learning material. Sure, you can absolutely improve on your own, but guided practice can go a long way. Besides, frankly, we think it's the perfect way to improve rapidly and with intention. 2D animation is a widely practiced discipline, and for this reason, you'll be sure to find tutorials in several formats. For instance, there are many YouTube videos that teach you the basics of animation, like Alan Becker and his 12 Principles of Animation. BAM animation, I guess? Anyway, the title is How to Start Animating Your Characters, Four Principles, and Learning How to Animate with No Experience by MBS. Or perhaps you would like something more specialized, like Ali's How to Lip Sync, for example. There are also many online courses that have different types of concentrations. For instance, Plural Sites, 2D Animation Courses and Tutorials, CG Spectrum's Advanced 2D Animation Diploma, or Animation Mentors, 2D Animation for Beginners. As you can see, just from the titles we have given, these tutorials have different stages in mind, and even special areas as well. Some are free on YouTube, and some are paid but give you the benefit of a diploma. Make sure to do your research and figure out which one is the best for you before going with it. As animation requires the drawing of many frames to get any simple action going, having a reliable source of references to fall back on when the poses and actions get trickier and harder to draw is essential. And don't be fooled by people who say reference is cheating. That is baseless nonsense. You need reference, and the best way to get references that are specific to your needs is to record videos of yourself doing the action you want and go from there. This is the easiest and cheapest way to go about it, and it's also very specific to the action you need. You can take screenshots of the keyframes in the video and mimic them for a smooth animation. You can also find great references on Sketchfab, a 3D model's website where you can rotate the model, zoom in, zoom out, you know. Pinterest can be a great way to get different references of how other artists go about animating certain actions. If you want to get a little exercise to shake off stiffness you might be feeling, we recommend you go on the Line of Action website to get some gesture drawing in and make your drawings flow a lot better. And that's it for our video today. As usual, we hope you enjoyed it and found it helpful. 
Be sure to let us know in the comments if we missed any tools you think are important, or if there is one tool in this list you think is most essential. Thank you for watching as always, and see you next time.